Hey guys, it's Lynn Pratt. Thanks so much for joining me to paint this You Are Loved quote. So I have just all um, nice sayings and words going around in a circle, and then we're going to paint some leaves around the outside. So when I transferred or drew my image on, I transferred all of my leaves just lightly with pencil, same with the heart. The rest of it I actually, instead of transferring it with pen and painting it with black ink, or transferring it with pencil rather, and doing it with black watercolor. Instead, I just used a permanent ink pen. So this one's just a Tombow pen, and it just has like kind of a smaller brush tip, and I just drew it right on with the pen. But it's totally up to you. You can trace it with pencil and paint it on with black if you want to, or just put it right on with a pen. I have a super simple palette for this one. I just have a super little plate. I have some permanent alizarin crimson, viridian hue, and shadow green. And then I have two mixtures. One is permanent alizarin crimson and shadow green, and the other one is permanent or is viridian hue with shadow green. So this is the one that I'm going to be using, the viridian hue and shadow green for most of my leaves. I have some separate of each color. So if I want to tint the edge of one a little bit more or less one way, darker or the lighter green, I can add those in. This mixture that I'm going to use for my branches is the red and the green mixed. It gives you kind of like a grayish brownish red color that will just be perfect and simple for the branches. And then the permanent lizard and crimson is for the heart. So to get started, I'll come in and I will start on the branches. So I'm just gonna come in with a size three, Holbein Gold Round. I'm gonna come in and add my branches in. So you can see in the drawing, some of the branches are on their own and some go right over some leaves that are in the background. So by doing the branches first, I can make sure that I have if they're going over leaves or if they're coming from behind. And that way when I'm painting the leaves, I know if the branches go over them or not. So it makes it a little bit easier so that I don't have to leave space on my leaf. I can just go in and paint around the branches. So I'm just gonna come in with this color and I'm not, remember, I'm not putting the line down the center of the leaf with this color. I'm just doing the branches up to the leaf. So some of them have a branch going over them, but I'm not painting those center lines. Those are actually, we're just going to leave most of them just paper white or do a lighter green. So make sure you're just going around the leaves unless it is the type of leaf that the branch goes right over it. Okay, and I'm just gonna carefully put all of those in throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna switch up to my size four Holbein Gold Round, and I'm gonna come in with just my permanent alizarin crimson, and I'm just going to come in and paint the heart in. And you can do it in a wet into wet wash if you wanna make sure that you're getting a perfectly even wash over the whole heart, but it's a small enough size that you should be able to just get it all in without a problem, without doing it wet into wet, just do it the wet paint right on the dry paper but it's totally up to you if you feel more comfortable putting it all in wet into wet so it's a little bit smoother and you have a little bit more working time. Do whatever feels most comfortable, but I'm just gonna get a nice wash of that red in there and let it dry. Kind of even it out a little bit there. And then I'll just let that dry. Now I'm gonna come in with my Viridian Hue and Shadow Green mixture. And I have it in a slightly darker mixture. And I'm gonna come some of the background leaves. I'm gonna have just a little bit darker. And you can see I'm just going around the stem and painting in around those areas, leaving the stem coming up through the top. 
and I'm just gonna have a couple that are that darker consistency, which just means you have less water. It's the same mixture I'm using. I'm just using a little less water to get it darker. So if I start with my darkest, then if I end up watering the mixture down at all, I don't have to worry about it as much trying to get it darker. And I'm not going too crazy going around the branches. It doesn't bother me if there's a little bit of white near it. Um, and I wanna make sure some might take more than one layer. If you put it on a little bit too light, don't worry about going back and getting it a little bit darker afterwards. And then for some of them that are not behind, I'm leaving a little bit of that center of the leaf white, almost like there's a little bit of a highlight going right down that center okay so you can see where the vine hits and then there's kind of that line i'm leaving that a little bit lighter and you don't have to do it to all of them and you don't have to do it going the whole way just to kind of give a little bit of a feeling to the center of the leaf and i'm going to kind of just skip around and paint some of them in that darker wash I'm ready to do the lighter leaves. So what I've done, instead of adding water to my whole mixture, I've just pulled a little bit aside, pulled a little bit out, and then added some water there so that I'm not watering down that whole dark mixture. I'm just watering down a little bit of a portion of it so that then I can come into my leaves with the same hue. It's basically the same color, it just has a little bit more water in it to lighten it up. But if I wanna change the actual color a little bit, I can just dip into my Viridian hue and just add a little bit on one section of the leaf to tint it a little bit differently. I can do the same if I'm coming in and I wanna just darken up a little bit of it and have not quite as much of that green so you can see I'm just avoiding that center area and then I can come in with a little bit of my darker green, my shadow green, and just tilt one side while it's wet to that darker color, okay? Or I can just stay just the same and do one leaf all the same and I can either leave it all the same value throughout or when I come in, I can add a little bit of water or a little bit more paint to one side. So if I wanna leave it all the same, I can leave it like that. If I wanna give it a little bit more interest, I can add just a little bit of water. So I dip my paintbrush in the water and I added a little bit of water to the edge and it's gonna kind of give me blooms, but I'm gonna do them on purpose. And if I do them in multiple areas, as it dries, I just get a little bit of texture on that leaf or you can come in after it's dry and add a little bit of texture as well by just kind of adding a light second layer so that all the leaves are not perfectly flat. It'll give me a really nice variation throughout. So again, as I'm coming through, I'm just painting up to that center line on one part and then just leaving a little gap on the other side. And that gives me that nice kind of little slice in the center that's the paper white. So I can leave this one a little bit lighter of a leaf. And if that one's lighter, then this one could be a little bit lighter maybe because it has the darker leaf behind it. So to get that nice contrast, I can just add a little bit more water right onto my leaf with my paint and let it lighten up. And I don't wanna do this leaf because this one's still wet, so I can just skip around a little bit and just vary the color as I go by adding some of the base colors to it or by adding more or less water. So if I want it a little bit darker, I'll just go to the area where I haven't added the water and I can make part of that stand out a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and paint in these leaves.
my leaves are all in and at this point I can go back and decide if I need to adjust the value or color anywhere so if I have like kind of a darker leaf that's coming up against another darker leaf that's behind it I can just come in you know and lift an edge or if I lost one of the stems I can just come through and lift out a center um, you know if you wanted a center in one of the leaves and it didn't quite come out you can lift out it might not get all the way back to white but you can easily just come in and lift out a lighter center so that it does have something if you want it there you don't have to have the centers in all of the leaves that's totally up to you and how you want it you know to look overall but if you want them you can easily come back and lift out a couple and there's a few places where I kind of just lost my branch going through so I can come in and just lift out those little spots where my branches come through. But you really don't have to go crazy. This isn't supposed to be a super photorealistic painting. So just getting all the values in there, that's really all you need. If then you wanna come back and add, say a little bit more of Viridian in a couple areas, you can come back, you know, and, and add or darken, um, you know, once everything's dry. So if I wanna add a little bit more of like that greenish, viridian to kind of make a few of the areas pop or just touch up a couple little areas or some of them ha that have full white areas on a darker leaf I can come in and add some of that viridian color to that area as well but remember you can kind of just skip around um, you know if you have one that's too dark you can lighten it and just adjust as you need to and then if you have any pencil lines, you know, that are sticking somewhere that aren't supposed to be there, you can come back and erase them. Um, but I'm basically going to call this done at this point. I think I have everything in. I'm happy with the values. I'm happy how the pink balances the green. So I'm going to call this done. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Thanks a lot. Let's paint.